हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज स्टडी स्टेट विद पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ इंस्टेड ऑफ एज्यूमिंग दैट द पॉपुलेशन इज फिक्स्ड वी नाउ सपोज दैट द पॉपुलेशन एंड द लेबर फोर्स ग्रो एट अ कांस्टेंट रेट एन फॉर एग्जांपल द यूएस पॉपुलेशन ग्रोस अबाउट वन परसेंट पर ईयर सो the population growth rate which is n it will be equals to 1 upon 100 which is 0.01 this means that if 150 million people are working one year then number of people working in next year will be 150 times 1.01 which is equal to 151.5 million in the same way number of people working in the year after that will be this 151.5 times 1.01 which is equal to 153.015 million and so on the change in the capital stock per worker is change in k equals to investment per worker minus this is the depreciation rate this is the population growth rate and this is capital per worker earlier we used to write this equation in this form that change in capital stock per worker equals to investment per worker minus delta k but now there is also one more factor which is the population growth rate so now we will subtract this as well and this will become i minus delta plus n times k okay so this is the change in capital stock per worker investment increases capital stock per worker depreciation which is delta it decreases capital stock per worker and population growth also decreases capital stock per worker in this equation this portion is known as break even investment break even investment means the amount of investment necessary to keep the capital stock per worker constant break even investment includes first one depreciation of the existing capital which which equals delta k and second one the amount of investment necessary to provide new workers with capital the amount of investment necessary to provide new workers with capital which equals n k okay we know that break even investment is delta plus n times k which can be written as delta k plus n k so break even investment includes these two portions first one is delta k first point denotes this and second point denote this depreciation reduces capital stock per worker by wearing out the capital stock and population growth reduces capital stock per worker by spreading the capital stock more thinly among a larger population of workers it is very simple that that if number of workers increases if number of workers increases then the capital stock per worker will be decreased first we substitute savings for investment so we can write in this form that change in capital stock per worker equals to we will replace this i with this sfk minus where s this is the uh, saving rate and this is the production function minus this break even investment this is the vertical axis and this is the horizontal axis 
on the vertical axis we have taken investment and break even investment and on the horizontal axis we have taken capital per worker this is the investment function this is break even investment which is denoted by delta plus n times k and this is this one the intersection point of these two curves will be steady state and the capital stock at this steady state level will be k star which is steady state level of capital per worker this is steady state level of capital per worker in the steady state the positive effect of investment on the capital stock per worker exactly balances the negative effects of depreciation and population growth that is at k star at steady state capital stock per worker change in k equals 0 change in k is it is i minus delta plus n k star equals 0 in the next equation we can write it as i equals to delta plus n times k star or we can also write it is equal to delta k star plus n k star so basically they are saying that in the steady state the positive effect of investment on the capital stock per worker exactly balances that means equals the negative effects of depreciation and population growth you can see the positive effect of investment is equal to the negative effects of depreciation and the population growth rate on the capital stock per worker okay and that is the reason at this point at this point you can see that investment or the positive effect of investment is equal to the negative effects of depreciation and population growth rate at this steady state level once the economy is in the steady state investment has two purposes first one some of the investment delta k star replaces the depreciated capital and the rest n k star provides the new workers with the steady state amount of capital we have just seen that in the situation of steady state at the point of steady state i star equals to delta k star plus n k star so so he is saying basically that once the economy is in the steady state investment has two purposes first that some of the investment replaces the depreciated capital some of the investment replaces the depreciated capital and the rest investment provides the new workers with steady state amount of capital the rest investment provides the new workers with steady state amount of capital for any capital stock which is less than the steady state level of capital per worker let's suppose it is k1 so at k1 investment level is greater than the break even investment and therefore k rises and for any capital stock which is greater than the steady state level of capital per worker so let's suppose it is k2 at k2 investment level is less than the break even investment so in this case k falls clear thank you